All right. Well, read... welcome. <laughs> we... <laughs> we did not rehearse that, obviously. No. Go for it, David. I don't know. I, I just thought like, you know, you you always you always have all the hosting responsibilities. And so I thought this time I would say, I'm gonna take the lead. I'm gonna say welcome everybody. And and Except do you stuff didn't and tell me. Stuff. I know. I... <laughs> That's part of the requirement. You have to tell me before you decide you're going to take the lead. That's especially really because now, yes, because I never do. Right. <laughs> well, and also like because it's not an, a live stream, it's not that moment of, oh, hey, we're live and we just wait for people to show up. This is an actual, this is the start of an episode. And so in my head, yeah. I'm in pod, I'm like in podcast mode. Right. Um, yeah. And so <laughs> But that's okay. What better way yeah. to start this episode than both of us so excited that we want to welcome you all here. Indeed. And, uh, and also, I think that I think everybody appreciates how much time and effort we put into rehearsing ahead of time and scripting and outlining and obsessively <laughs> editing everything that we do yes. beforehand. Yes, I mean, that's, I, I feel like that is obvious by mm -hmm. everything that um, has happened in the last two minutes yeah I the think goal, yeah the goal is a very a very sleek and professional package which I think that's what people see when they see us sleek and professional I think those are the best words to describe everything we've done yep okay so All right. speaking wanna... of sleek and professional I'm gonna let you yes. say what's happening so go for it host I'm I'm really glad that you gave that to me since I probably know less about this than you do. But, <laughs> but that's what makes the, it fun. Since you were the point of contact. Okay, so um, somebody. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> Tyler, the creator, no. Um, uh, uh, Tyler's putting together a musical piece or a series mm -hmm. of musical pieces it, it is a composition a yes okay. a musical piece for a class right yeah yeah at where truman yes okay see i had to make sure you remembered that because that was what was super important to me not right. just that this was an exciting opportunity but tyler is a student at truman state university and of course by now everyone knows that was my school yep northeast missouri state Oh, God, it hasn't been that for so long. <laughs> you know that when it was Northeast Missouri State, the abbreviation was NEMO. <gasps> yeah. What was the O for? Oh, Missouri. Mo. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it was Northeast Missouri. Is. Hey, but what, what was your uh, what was your postal code designation before they switched to the two letter? <laughs> what was my what? Postal code designation. You know, when you write a, a letter. Right, but California are you just was asking C A L I F? Okay, um, that's a really good question. It's been so long that I honestly don't remember, and I know it couldn't because Mississippi, obviously. So, like, I don't think it was just M I S S, but I honestly Is this where Mizzou came from. I I'm looking it up because I think everybody's going to want to know this. <laughs> Maybe I actually don't know. I my guess is I, M I S S O U. That's my guess. Because yeah, Calif California was always Calif. Sure. Period. Yeah. I but like we're I, talking years and years ago. I don't remember this. What do you mean years and years ago? This is the early '90s when they made this change. I feel like it was longer ago than that, but whatever. I'm ready to know what Missouri was. Okay, hold but on. I also I, I also feel I like it. if you've if you've already written out Mizzou, why not just write out the RI? Like you are two letters away from from finishing the name. Oh, I guess you are, aren't you? You sure huh. are. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we didn't have one. Maybe it was just write out Missouri. I think I've got the wrong term for this. Gosh darn it. Uh, old, maybe if I put old postal, old postal codes, United States. As, as David is looking this up, do you want me to take over the introduction of what we're actually doing today? 
people might people might enjoy that. Okay, so we got a little sidetracked, but we are very excited that Tyler is at my old school and he is um, composing a musical piece uh, for a class. And his inspiration was a rabbit. And that really, of course, tied in perfectly with everything that we had done in Ingala. And so Tyler reached out and asked if it would be possible to um, have some words translated into Ingala for uh, the annotations that show up within a lot of compositions to sort of ground the, the musician with you know, what's, what's meant to be going on in that piece of the score. And so um, we have some words that we are going to be translating into Ingala today, um, none of which we actually have. And in fact, all the words he requested, we only had one of them. And that was um, one of the words was the river. And of course we have our word Zeus. And so even though really all we, um, our goal for the day is to just translate as many words as we can, uh, all of them are individual words, but again, we just don't have them. So it'll be a lot of word creation today. And David does not look like he has an answer yet. Um, I'm getting closer to that answer. I swear I am, hold on. GPO, here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go. It was MO. Okay, so I never had one. That's why I was confused. Okay, cool. I mean, well, and you know, the, the way we used to write it though was like a uh, big letter, little letter, period. Oh, sure, sure. I remember that. So it was, so it was MO period. And like Montana yes. was M O N T period. Yes, yes. Wow. And they are, they are now M T. Why, why on earth did they not fully abbreviate North Me uh, New Mexico and North Dakota? It was N Max and N DAC for those. That's weird, right. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. The, those are still how they uh, present them in crossword puzzles. And so- Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're keeping it alive, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, it can't, it can't be two letters in a crossword puzzle answer. So it's gotta be at least three or more. No, it's gotta be at least three or more. Hmm. Well, in an official that. crossword. I, I did not know that. So Utah was not abbreviated, but neither was Hawaii or Idaho or Maine. I mean, some of them though, they're, if you abbreviate it, you just, you're almost there. Like Ohio, Iowa, like why Ohio, abbreviate? Ohio wasn't abbreviated either. So, so we have that. Um, but. Uh, okay. I really want to spend a lot of time on this. But you know what I would like to spend time on? Ingala. <laughs> and yes. so we have we have okay. words to do. Yes, we do. Okay, so let us get to it. All right. So the first thing, and we actually did talk a little bit about this, right? Uh, if we want to start right at the top, um, because um, uh, the the word introduction and how I was like, right. that's that's a lame thing to use since all the others are so cool. They really are. Actually, you know what? I can share the screen right now just to give everybody at home a chance to look at what we're doing so that way you can see the overall structure. So I'm going to share it quickly. We'll probably end up unsharing it just so that way, you know, camera angles, all of that yeah. works out. Mm -hmm. um, but this is at the very least what we're dealing with right now. Mm. Um, oh. So the, the all cap words are the ones that we need to get done today. The bullet yes. point words and phrases are if we finish and we have more time and energy, um, we can tackle anything even like close to those. And so like, even if we just did like glade or search or something like that, like we don't have to do a whole phrase there, but these are pulling from key descriptions. Tyler sent me a full write-up of um, each portion of the piece. And so I just pulled out some key descriptions, but the all capital letter, you know, these are the entries that need to be done. And again, this is the, the only one that was just already done because of our yeah. work in yeah, Ingala a, already. That was a patron request. It sure was. And so now we need introduction, fox chase, lost storm, sunrise, and valley and i looked yeah. and we don't have any of those and so that's where we're yeah. starting so i'm going to stop share there um but that is what we're doing now david has said he doesn't want to actually start with the word introduction i don't 
Oh, I hate it. So, no. you know, I, I want to start that right now. Okay. Do you know what word I want to start with? Um, sunrise. No, but that's a good one. I was super excited that we don't have a word for fox yet. <gasps> oh my, you're right. And so that's that right. was my first, my first thought was, oh my gosh, we have to do fox. Have you seen Puffin Rock yet? It's no. really cute. It's really cute that the way, the way they interact with the fox, how they're kind of afraid of the fox and the fox is kind of a friend. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and nice. yeah, don't, don't go after the fox. Yeah, that was a little bit too British, less Irish. Um, it, does the fox have a name in Puffin Rock? Uh, yes, the fox does have a name and what I forgot it? the fox's name. Darn it. Because we could incorporate Puffin Rock into the oh. language. Oh my goodness. If we okay, knew the hold fox on. Name. Yeah, let's 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 look this up. Puffin Rock characters. As you're looking that up, I should have asked before just now if anyone has the sound change applier open. <laughs> no okay okay i think that was all the answer i needed um we and... probably don't need it anymore right like we're good yeah it's not like i'm gonna forget and accidentally like apply possum language categories flynn oh that's something we could kind of work around i like this description a fox who does not like to be bothered, but has shown from time to time that she has a caring heart. Oh, that is rather that's sweet. Nice. That's nice. Okay, continue. But I love hearing Everything. her say Una because it's, you know, it's not Una, it's Una, Una, Una. It's like five vowels that's, all mixed together. That is fun. Um, okay, I'll, I'll do the okay. sound change applier. That's, that's no oh, problem. Are you sure? Because I literally, in copying over from notes right now. Seriously? All right, you go, yeah. man. Oh, I was, that reminds me, I should turn off um, notifications. But I guess it's not that big a deal because... Your screen isn't showing. <laughs> yes. By the way, have you updated to the new OS yet? No. There are really things I like about it. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing my desktop, but my laptop for reasons can't be updated yet. Yeah. Um, for reasons that sounded very vague, but it's, I have to wait for the, the campus IT system to be ready for it before I can upgrade. Yeah. So it wasn't like, I don't know, CIA reasons or something. Okay. Think Fox. about those guys a lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I'm a spy, right? So. Yeah. It's just it goes with the territory. Uh, and can I can I share something very honest with you? Uh, I would absolutely, under no circumstances, be surprised if you turned out to be a spy. <laughs> I'm gonna just let you wonder. I'm gonna let you wonder. Okay, so we can totally have Flynn, F-L-I-N. No, wait, we can't have constant no, we can't. clusters up front. We can? We can't. Yeah. No. So it'd have to be- We can have Flynn. Like How about Trona Schwa? Like we okay. could do that. Um, yeah, how do, you, how do you type a Schwa? Is it the uh, same button as apostrophe? <laughs> I mean, it's really the same thing, isn't it? I thought so. <laughs> um, Okay. Uh, okay, know. but like, that's kind of almost screwing us because that's feline. Like it looks like feline, which a fox is not a feline, but it does yeah. look like that word. So it, it and also foxes. Let's be honest; they evoke felines. Foxes are kind of like they really do. They're kind of like puppies mixed with kittens. They're really adorable. Yes, yes, they really yeah. are. Um, did I tell you, okay, I know this, this is a little aside, but did I tell you about the person in, that I met at MIT that does research, language research on dingoes in Australia? No. Okay. I, I should, I should tell you about that sometime. Um, yes. When I actually yes. remember details, but yeah, they like, they do all this work on dingoes and so they were saying oh yeah like if you're if you're ever in australia and you want to just like hang out with a bunch of dingoes let me know um and apparently uh dingoes really act a lot like cats 
Um, Interesting. And so like there are all these, she showed me all these pictures of them. Like when she, when she goes there, they come running up and then they want to be picked up and cuddled. It's just, oh. That's adorable. Yeah. Didn't know that about Jingo's. <clears throat> Yes, so Fox. So, yeah, okay. it sounds like feline. It also starts with F. Uh, I think we need something different. Okay. Um, By the way, if we made the proto form F A L I N, we would get Fallon. So, that could be a fun word to play with later. Fallon. Hmm. Um, oh, um, that, was, that was the other thing I, I, I wanted to mention. Uh, so, foxes, they're kind of natural predators of rabbits, mm -hmm. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And that's, in fact, um, in this scene, it's a fox chase. So it is not a happy time for this rabbit. When you say it's a fox chase, do you mean that the foxes are chasing the rabbits or that somebody is chasing the foxes? The foxes are chasing the rabbit. Okay. Because usually, I mean, if you hear fox chase, it's the other way around. Like, how do we not talk about this the fact that Britons, I guess, thought it was just cool to like dress up in coats and like chase down foxes isn't that the fox horses, hunt, though? Isn't that the fox up. hunt, not the chase? I mean, it involves a chase, uh, a chasing of a fox. Sure, but isn't it called a fox hunt? Like, isn't that the actual term? Sure, but I, I, okay. I'll, I'll bet you that I'll bet you that like two times you, out of fifteen, they called it a fox chase. Do you know um, the movie Fancy Pants? I don't. It's a Lucille Ball movie with Bob Lee. really and he's supposed to be this like dignitary guy but he's really not he's just an actor and so he's trying to fit in with these really wealthy British people and there's a fox hunt in there and he's like it's really funny anyway wow the only thing <laughs> that I've seen with Lucille Ball and Bob Hope is that episode where she meets him at a baseball game and he gets mm. hit by a foul ball it's a bad and, day no i know and like i looked at that i'm like and i was just thinking like dang like that could kill you <laughs> i mean <laughs> really good um by the way i also feel like this is a great example of why it takes us so long to create words <laughs> <laughs> we have now gone down four different rabbit holes and we still don't have a word yeah. for fox you know, but it's it's only when the camera's on because when the camera's off, it's just it's just joyless and efficient. Well, I mean, joyless could it ever be joyless? But it is actually, I think, much more efficient. <laughs> is it maybe? really? No, maybe I, not. Maybe a little bit. This is also um, though why I think usually whenever we do work on word creation and and translation and things like that really what usually happens is we sort of split up the work so that way <laughs> when when we're in the middle of telling stories about fancy pants and everything else we're not we're like oh we already did the work wait a minute how could um and by the way just so you know we're, we're recording so you don't want to i know i was laughing because of that face though you were recording that face oh well well it's because i'm looking at these two protoforms and i don't understand how they're accurate which protoforms um, look at sleep and look at mushroom uh, they're they're in the chess. Okay. Well, that would have. Goodness gracious. Okay. Oh. No, never mind. I get it now. I get it now. It's fine. Okay. I, cool. I think. How did that just? Okay. No, I. No, I think that makes sense. Yeah. I'm sure. I mean, I I'm know. not seeing anything that surprises me. Mushroom. Then, then forget it. It's I'm I'm banishing it from my mind. It's it's fine. Okay. I'm not going to question why that thing is becoming that thing in that environment, not in the other environment. Okay, no, forget it. No, it's fine. All right, whatever. Um, okay. Okay. Well, Box. I'm happy with what's there. Were you were you interested in a cha word? Is that why you were there, or did you just land on that? entry i think i just landed there no so i, I okay. wasn't interested in a chat word not for fox i'm still thinking about if a word for fox if these guys are a big predator should be derived from something or if um by the way is roman in here i i displaced him he was sitting here and then he 
got up in a huff. I think maybe he's hiding from me now. Uh, Probably pretty but, angry. Yeah. the The point is, though, for for those that are watching, you may. Oh, poor little guy. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, he was sitting right where I was sitting, right where I was sitting. I set up the desk and everything, and he just went over there and curled up. And so I had to displace him. Um, and so now he's over in the windowsill inside. <gasps> Roman, my boy. Roman. Roman, I also my like how man. you were going to be telling us something about what you were interested in Fox. potentially using for Fox. And then now we're on Roman. I'm trying to coax him over here because I know everybody wants to see him. Come here, my boy. My sweet and precious boy. Yes, my boy. Yes, my boy. Oh, my little darling. We could play around with the idea of it coming from Bite. Let's like take a look at Bite. Biter, Paga, Paga. Paga, and then somebody that bites is a Pagalier. Pagaer. Oh. Do we not Pag have? Pagation. Do we not have that type of a thing? We don't. So that would well, be a cool derivation to think about. It would be, but also uh, one would wonder why, uh, given the ergative nature of this language, do we have an ingentive? It'd have um, to be like, yeah, this that might yeah. be a bigger discussion. Okay. So maybe uh, not going with bite. Let's, let's look at there's my sweet and precious boy. Oh, my good little man. Yes. We'll see what he wants to do. Uh, so we don't have a word for fang. Um, Ooh, that a, would have been good. OK. We have a word for incisor. Um, kata. Oh, that's a really good word for it. Um, kata, excuse me. So um, how are fangs and incisors different? And do foxes have both? Sounds like a great thing to be Googling. Fangs versus incisors. OK. While you do that, just going to just do oh, you see the, him. Do you see I do him? I see him, yes. There's my boy. Okay. okay, incisors are different from the canines, and the canines are, I'm sure, what the fangs would be. Oh, okay. So, Inc like a so the incisors are the side ones. The chompies, got it. Yes. And so I, that's why, because um, we had found out that rabbits actually use those separately from the way they use their front teeth. Yes. Okay. And so they're, yeah, in between the, the canines and the molars. Oh. Yeah. So incisors aren't okay. I feel a shame. I know I've <laughs> I guess whatever. Um just saying I'm pulling up an actual diagram. And is uh is canine just another word for fang? Oh no, I think I misread. Just a second. Okay. I did misread. The incisors yeah. are the front teeth. Oh. Incisors, canines, premolars, molars. Premolars. Premolars, that's what they're called, which is probably why they feel the same. Also, one of the molars in particular from a top view looks like a brain. Hmm. Okay. It's very interesting. And is that why it's called a wisdom tooth? No, it's not even that one. Man, I don't have wisdom teeth though, so it's I guess I'm I'm not very wise in my teeth. I, I mean, neither do I anymore. But like, are you saying you never did? No, I, I they were actually removed before they ever had a chance to to grow to whiz, yeah, to to wisen uh, up. I I had mine removed uh, in high school when I got a second set of braces. Um, mm. And that was really something because, you know, they did the extraction and there was anesthetic and I woke up 
um, after the procedure was done, but before anybody came to get me. And it was an unfamiliar doctor's office or dentist's office, not the one I went to because they did the oral surgery. And so I just, I woke up, I was anesthetized and I looked around and I just got so angry. I was like, this is not how you run a, a business. And so I got up and I walked out of the room and I walked directly into the office where I saw the dentist was, where he was working on somebody else's teeth. And I walk and I'm just like incoherently trying to say, what are you doing? It's just, this isn't a business. How dare you? And I was so incensed and so incoherent. And he just kind of like laughed. He's like, oh, 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 you're up already. And, you know, took me back. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was something. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, okay, so I found out a couple things. One, foxes don't have any flat teeth because they don't actually chew their food. They swallow it in chunks. All right. Good to know. Um, also, they walk on their toes. Exactly, on their toes. And they actually have partially retractable claws. Like kitties. They do. So claw could be another word that we could explore. I just wish I could pick one up and give it a squeeze. But fang would be interesting whether or not the word for fox came first or the word for fang came first, because obviously rabbits don't really have fangs. Mm -hmm. um, but that Absolutely. could be interesting which one would have been first. And so we could start with a word for fox and then have a word fox tooth which yeah. refers to that type of a tooth. I really kind of like that. Yeah, um, I think it would make more sense because I feel like they would know the animal like as a whole instead of just like only, because I mean, they're gonna be scared of foxes for many reasons. Yeah. Um, and I also feel like it's not a situation, maybe I'm wrong, but like, I, I feel like if you see a fox, you don't like see fangs hanging out or something. Like you don't like necessarily, obviously if you know that they can bite you, then you may think of fangs quickly, but. Uh, yeah, so they bad. need, um, what they need is some sort of a word, if this is gonna be its own root, some sort of a word that, in, uh, or a sound that inspires dread. Mm-hmm. Which I feel like, okay. sorry, my head just went to what does a fox say? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> yeah. And they make those little beep, 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 little sounds. They're so cute. And but, I yeah. feel like that would really be the only, because as far as I know, they don't really growl. Mm -hmm. They are They are very quiet when they run. So I don't even think it would be. I mean, maybe rabbits could hear them, but like they tend to be quiet as they sort of well, stalk in, so. I didn't necessarily mean something onomatopoeic. I meant some sort of a series of sounds that would sound foreboding in Ingella. Gotcha. So you're not going <clears throat> to worry about what sounds the fox actually makes. Yeah, gotcha. otherwise it'd probably be like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But we don't have uh, glottal stops, do we? No. <clears throat> All right. Um, this cracks me up. I think we're, what, almost 30 minutes in and we're on the first word. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Um, I mean, we, we can play around with like that dealer fricative because that would be like, um, mm. very hissy and I don't know that could be scary foreboding oh, yeah I see something that is misalphabetized it must have been you <laughs> <laughs> mm. I have never once messed up on alphabetizing entries never who uh, who who was the one that created all the numbers you. No, that was me. Shoot. <laughs> mm. 
you create uh, it you made the chart so you know but i don't think those true. needed to be alphabetized so technically my first answer was right but yeah if you're talking about entries i do remember saying i would be in charge of those mm. and i apparently did a swell job you may want to check other things while you're there <laughs> Well, you know what this means. Now you owe me one. <laughs> <laughs> Payback. Um, okay. So right now we don't have, uh, we have one keyword. No, we have two keywords. That's that's nice. Oh, Khima, that's a good one. We have uh, two who words. Uh, mm -hmm. Make that three. And that's it. Oh, okay. So we have some space to play around with that. Yeah. Okay. Are there, how many just straight up K words do we have? Uh, with, without the H. 29. Following. It's our biggest okay. category. Okay, cool. So let's do, yeah, let's do the fricative. Okay. Oh, you meant K separately. That I yeah. don't know. That's, that's a, that's a combined number for K and K. Um, I know that's why, but if there's only four hus, then there yeah. would be five k's, right? What? <laughs> there would be five that start with k, and four that start I, I with said k. Twenty twenty nine. Yeah, I heard nine. So never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no, we're all good. Um. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so I had. I had one idea because I think that this is a word I used for sharp in some language. Um, mm -hmm. I don't remember which, but I like the idea of it. We can, uh, we have uh, N and S are our super codas. So we could actually just have has. Oh, nice. Do you like it? Yeah, and I'm just making sure. That wouldn't change, right? That would just be has. Yeah, with not. an ash, has. Yeah. And that, that somehow sounds better with the ah, uh, yes. 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 That's good. All right. Okay. So I'm on board with that. Cool. Now let's go <laughs> to the plurals. We haven't even made it to the chasing part of the fox chase. Chase is actually a word that can be quite old. I was surprised by that. I, I could imagine why, though. Um, given the fact that they could be chased. I think I, I that people could I, be chased at all times. Yeah, I think chasing happened a lot more in the olden days than it does um, now. I'm going to go ahead and say that is correct. Um, also going to say that um, when do we just get the A? Um, reminding myself how we do the plurals with the animants. Animants. Mm. I'm just going to add some extra nasals in there because why not? Um, I think it would just be the A though. Wouldn't it just be the chas? I don't have any examples of this before a fricative. That's what I'm looking at because I see it before <clears throat> vowels. I see it before a nasal. I mean, I guess. Okay, here's the best way to look at this. Just out of curiosity, see what happens. Before yeah, I think it's just going to be the A because um, I put in the actual full proto form for group followed by Fox, and it's coming out with an A. The S disappears because of the H following it. Okay. I think this, yeah. Because A Z is it? A Z is um, in front of prenasalized stops. A S in front of nasals. S in front of vowels, and then A in front of other consonants. I, I think that what happens is that it geminates. And so the fricative geminates and then it singletonizes. <laughs> and so then it becomes just a singleton voiceless. 
uh, I forget. And that's right, right, right. And that's how it's still voiceless and not the voice. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. I just okay. didn't do the Geminet part. I've, I just knew that it stayed voiceless. All good. All good. And okay. So are you I'm entering gonna... that, by the way, in the Nala document? I'm gonna. Cool. I'm putting Fox. Oh my no gosh, so tiredness. Sleepy. No, you I can't know, be tired I know, during... I know. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's <sighs> up. I mean, I do, so but sorry. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All of 2020. I do, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, and, uh, oh, fun pass. fact we do have the word for to follow. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. How much do you know about the doors? I'm probably not nearly as much as you. Uh, probably not since I took a class on the doors, but. Um, okay, so not only not nearly as much as you, but like maybe, maybe a thousandth of what you know. <laughs> Just... Well, you know, they, they have all their, their music and whatever. And then they come up with, come out with this album called The Soft Parade, which like, if you listen to it, it is, oh my God, it's like the worst thing you've ever heard. It's got like a couple noteworthy songs on there, but it's like from song number one, it's like it was written by an ad agency about the phenomenon of the doors. And it's just really embarrassing. And so I always think of that whenever I hear follow. <laughs> Tell all the people that you see to follow me. Follow me um, down. It's awful. It's just awful. Okay, so we can we can though just create a completely unique word for chase. So that is of course an yeah. option. Um, and do you have any feelings on that? Like, would you rather have it related to something? Would you rather have it overlap semantically, or do you want an actual an actual chase? I I have my own feelings. I'm curious to see what you say. Um, I'm kind of, I feel like I need to hear from someone else on this. Someone, someone I respect, someone wearing glasses. Yourself? <laughs> no, I said somebody I respect. Oh, um, oh. <laughs> Self burn. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Those are um, rare for me. All right. Um, okay. But yeah, no, I, 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 I want to hear your thoughts. I'm, I'm still stuck in Foxland because, of course, the doors also have a song called 20th Century Fox. And I'm sitting here thinking, which came first, the song or the network? And then, like, you can't just say that, right? If there is a network and not think that people will think of it. But isn't 20, 20th Century Fox, isn't that older? Because weren't they making the movies doors? by the 50s? Were they? Like, because I just remember older movies. I swear there were some older movies that had that opening 20th Century Fox. That, that sound at the beginning. I swear. I may be wrong and maybe 20th Century Fox purchased the movies later so they got to use it. But like, I think. Yeah. I think it actually predates the doors. I could be wrong. Well, I know it was there by the late 70s because we have Star Wars for that. But then it's like, okay, so if the doors coined it first, then who's looking at that and saying, that should be the name of our thing? I don't know. Like, I looked it up once okay. and then I didn't like the answer and forgot it. So, um, uh, uh, Pace, I'm looking it up me... now. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, who mm -hmm. was right? 1935, 20th Century Studios. 20th Century Studios, when did they call themselves Fox? Uh, in 1935. <laughs> from, 19, <laughs> from 1935 to 1985, they were 20th Century Fox Film Corporation. And then mm. from 1985 to 2020, they were 20th Century Fox. Then now they're, they're 20th Century. <laughs> With that. Um, okay, so that's that answer. Okay, so my opinion, 
since I'm just going to go ahead and assume I'm the respected yep. glasses wearing person. Um, mm -hmm. My opinion is they would have a separate word for chase because this would be an important concept um, as an animal that is often prey. And yes. they would be, I mean, they just would be. And so um, I don't think it would be right to correlate that with simply the verb to follow because you would want a way of being able, and I would even argue that maybe follow could be um, derived to get a form of chase, like when rabbits just chase each other for fun, right? Just hmm. like playing around yeah. like that to me is a very different chase than what a predator would be doing. So I feel like they would actually separate out those concepts entirely. Um, hmm. That's my thoughts. Do you think they'd separate them out in that they would have separate roots for them or there would be some sort of a derivation that says like, you know, pretend chase or fun chase or something like that? Um, either either the the derivation with pretend chase or fun chase or a derivation on follow with some sort of because we did have like an intensifier and so if you're following oh, yeah. somebody but like intensely like that could be like chasing for fun because you're like following right on their tail hmm. okay and so okay. like one of those methods but like I feel like the the fun chasing would be a derived form and the predator chasing would be its like its own original route because again like that is something that you're not just running you're not just jumping playing hopping whatever like that's life and death right there and I feel like that would be super important for them to be able to say okay good all right then let's do a route for chase um and yeah this one I think it's going to be just whatever we want really or whatever we can easily reduplicate <laughs> verbs oh and yeah the verbs i almost i let myself forget for just a minute and now the flashbacks are starting wow Your every day is a gala day a rabbit's life for me um <laughs> pinocchio it's been a while that was, i thought it was clever <laughs> um i have not seen pinocchio in years Oh, really? Years, I mean, years and years. I saw it so many times as a kid that it wouldn't matter. Uh, but also. Oh, creepy. like you would still creepy. remember it. Yeah. You would still remember. I get what you're saying at first. I was like, it just wouldn't matter. Yeah, hey. Sometime, not now, I'm going to tell you about how I read the original Pinocchio, the one written in Italian and how it's like one of the worst things I've ever read. I'm going to send you to the F entries. Got it's it. like, hey, S, look at the last word and tell me if you're seeing what I'm seeing. Okay. F, right? Yeah, the ingala. Oh, F. oh my. <laughs> so oh for my. everybody at home following along, our very final word listed <clears throat> on the ingala side of the dictionary under F is the word moon. <laughs> like not even close. Was that copied and pasted? Like does at least he... they're both labial. I mean, that's something. Okay, it uh, was copied and pasted because moon exists in the M's. Oh no. And so I think what happened was that you copied and pasted it when we were doing the foul entry because you needed yeah. the same structure for foul. Yes, but I got it. Okay. And so and then, uh, I must good. have copied and pasted it twice. <laughs> so on top of it it's like that is hilarious okay one two so, three four five six seven eight nine words in f let me just double check to make sure that's what we have up here and it, it is because okay. i actually checked yeah because i was thinking if we wanted to to you know give flynn some love in ingala um the word for chase could be based off that so it could be either um we could take off the N altogether to make it a tiny bit shorter, like just um, fela or fala or falling. But oh we do God. have a lot of L's. Are you still okay though with having more L's? Um, this one's okay. okay. So let's see. We don't have any verbs in F yet? No. So that's going to be exciting. Yeah. 
Well, let's just grab a ha one then. Say it'll be doing the same thing. And we don't have, we do. <gasps> yes, yes. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. And you're in charge of these entries. Got it. Okay. I'm just so, typing uh, the, the translations. What's the form going to be? Okay. So, Fala? option. Do yeah. you want Fala? Do you want, um, essentially, that would be Fela. It also is going to sound like follow. <laughs> oh, you're right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, just a second. How about Fally? Okay, so do you want to do the A or would you want to have a schwa there in the proto form, thus creating Fally? We've already got that. It's we have exactly that. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so in that case, do you, do you want to do Fala? I, I, well, do you like Fala, Fali, or Falu? Just a second. What do you feel? And I'm just checking the proto form. Oh, no, that's two. No, no, no. Okay, what were the options again? Uh, Fala, Fali, Falu. I threw in the last one because we don't have a lot of things that end in ooh. Right. Okay. I'm. I was leaning towards something else, but I think um, I think Falu. You get Wonderful. the ooh on there. Um, in case you're wondering why I was like, ooh, I want to try this. I was going to see what would happen if we had full and then a schwa, but that's literally fulo. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, talk about being close to follow. Follow me, follow me to chase um, that, or uh, that's to be chased, you know, because if the main argument is going to be the one being chased. Right. Isn't, well, yeah. I mean, Have we been doing that consistently the entire time we defined verbs? Nope. Cool. Yeah. Just checking. I know. <laughs> um, then the question comes when, because obviously in English, we can just put it together and be like fox chase. So we get to treat it all noun like. Um, do we want to actually change it to be like a, a short sentence to be like the fox chases the rabbit? Um, Yeah, because if we just do a regular apposition, like now, now, an apposition, the, the assumption should be that that noun is getting chased. Getting chased, not, yeah. Not yeah. doing the chasing. Yeah, so I, I, I think it would be best to treat this as a very short sentence. And ime would be the ergative. No, not yeah. ergative, sorry, absolutive. Ime would be the absolutive argument. Mm, yeah, but let's try, let's try, also try this, uh, Falu and Has. Uh, and the idea is that it's just like the fox chasing. Okay. Falu and Has. We never... well, that would also be, that would be shortened, that'd be a clitic, the in. Yeah. Um, yes, it would. I was not doing it yet in case we decided to change our minds for agentive participles. The reflexive form may be used as a kind of anti-passive, although this qualifies as a full relative clause as shown below. The rabbit who is pushing a mouse, the pushing rabbit. 
Let's do that. It was like the chasing fox. Yes. Okay. And then reflexive. Looking at the reflexive form. And this one Valley. is ending in an S, so emis, so um, emis me, so falum. Oh, I was looking at chas. I was looking at the totally wrong word for what needed the reflex. <laughs> Where's my verb? Oh, my word, I tell you. <laughs> that is good. Favalumi. Oh, I put the stress on the wrong syllable, but that's a beautiful word. Favalumi. That's right. Chas just favalumi. like that. Chas favalumi. Yes. Perfect. Oh, that was really I like good. That. All right. Okay, so one one hour in and we have Fox Chase done. We have Zeus done because that was already in the dictionary. Yeah. But... Now do you want to tackle sunrise? Um, I actually want to go to lost first because I think it's going to be easier. I think that's just, we just create the word and we're done. Okay. Yeah. Um, because like the, the base form is going to be, you know, either, uh, uh, either the patient or it's going to be monotransitive. Uh, and so, and then it just works by itself as an adjective. We just need to create something for being lost. Uh, and I think that is enough of a core concept that it can be basic. Okay. Um, we don't have, now W words have to come from U stems, but we only have five W words and we only have five or seven O words. I think those are our least populated. Okay. Um, so with the W one, it's probably going to have to begin with uh, wa. I I, I, don't know. I just don't feel like we is going to be the beginning of a word meaning lost. OK. Um, do you feel anything good about O being the beginning? Uh, I could. OK. I could be talked into it. OK. Um, so it's very. Hmm. Oh my gosh, you know what we need? Hmm. Oza Yamoza. <laughs> uh, that would be great. Um, okay, so Oza is literally three. That's lovely. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna need like a schwa you. Um, yeah, I'm feeling O. We're gonna make O happen. All right. But I need to go back to my, my sound chart. Get, Sometimes, do you ever make yourself dizzy from scrolling too fast? Yes. Never mind. Don't answer because I can see that you don't. So, <laughs> I'm, there. I, I retract the question. There are many things that make me dizzy, though. So I know the feeling. Thank you. <laughs> um, What if we ended up with like, like if the, oh shoot, are you in the O's right now? I am. Excellent. So you can tell me if I'm really just recreating a word? Yes. Okay. Um, so if we did like as a proto form, schwa u p or schwa u k, we would, no, wait, I, I know ogo exists. Take that back. That has to exist because I swear that's like a negative particle or something. Yeah, it comes from the word for fall. It's it's pretty important. So yeah. Yeah, we no, that. we do not want that. Um, what about like the final form being like obu? Another U word. I you got me stuck. Yeah. On that. <laughs> stuck on you. Get it? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. Um, uh, obu is great. Let's do it. Excellent. And I'm just going to hop that into the sound change analyzer and make sure that I am not 
Nathan Shua U Shua U P U. It's gotta be U. Shua U P. Yeah, yeah. And that does indeed turn to Obu. Obu. And then Obobu. Obobu. Huh. It's kind of cute. Oh, what's the reflex or the uh Obobu. imperfective? Oh, oh, that is cute. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm glad you could be persuaded. That was actually quite easy. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't even a challenge. No, nope. that's what they all say about me. <laughs> okay, uh, adding, so that's our eighth O word. Mm -hmm. And I like how it could be helping you in the document and I'm just instead scrolling and trying to figure out where all my documents are on my screen. I mean, it's a totally we, normal we, thing. We both know cares the most about the document looking pretty. And we obviously now both know who struggles the most, most with alphabetizing, so. I think that just seems like it's on you. All good. Okay, so we've got lost, and now uh, what do you want to do? Storm or sunrise? I'm. It's 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 your banana plant. What? My banana plant? Yeah, it's it's your banana plant. You can plant it wherever you want. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Must be a California thing. Um, oh, yeah, everybody here says it all the time. It's not something I just made up on the fly. No, no, it sounds very real. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's let's do sunrise. Okay. Because no, I almost had an idea, but never mind. I don't think I have an idea anymore. Very good. So we, we do have we've a word already, for sun. Yeah, and we've already used sun hop to mean mm -hmm. daytime, correct? Right. So we just uh, need a word that means the start of a hop. Hunch. Do do um, bunnies do that little butt wiggle thing that kitties do or no? I bet they don't. Oh my god, I really, really hope they do. I don't think they that... do. I think I, I think they're much quicker. I think they are much quicker. I've seen them do their thing. You know that little helicopter jump they do. <laughs> yes, and that's a perfect description. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing what we have in terms of options. Um, what would the start of a hop be? It would be you're on the ground. That's the start of a hop. It's also the end of the hop. Um, it's also, you actually can see the sun when it rises. So like it's a seen sun. Um, and we do have a word for to see. Um, yeah. It now that that's just too cute. I was gonna say it could be a sun stretch because it's starting to stretch before it hops. Oh, that's it. That's and Haiga, Haiga is stretch and sun is <clears throat> easy. And I feel like we can get easy and Haiga together in some sort of cute way. Oh my goodness. That is so good. Ah, wow. Oh, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. Um, all right. So the first thing I need to do is I need to look up day. Because I want to see how we did that. And we I did verb noun. Because so it's a hazy, right? A hazy, yeah. 
a hezi. It's the okay. it's the uh, the sun hops. Hegezi. I guess he, let's let's take a look and make sure that's what we get. I guess it depends on what the proto form is for stretch. I, I should that that is that's that is that's exactly what it is. Hi Gezi. Oh wow. I like, that. I like that. I do too so much. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, thank you for that. That was incredible. <laughs> Do my it. best. Yes, you do. And your best is stellar. I love it. All right. And the stress would be on the second syllable, right? Yes, it would. Okay. What? I didn't want to. Okay, so I actually entered it on the English side because I think I can alphabetize sun and sunrise. I'm going to separate these. I also feel like valley is going to be a fun one to think about. I know you're not even done yet, and I'm already think I'm already moving on. That's fine. That's the way to do it. Um, yeah, oh, I do need to know what the plural <laughs> is. Is it toe? It's it should be. Um, and I'm looking at day just in case. Oh, that one is a qua. Oh, because uh, of the vowel. Because, it's because, it's because the of vowel. the vowel. Yeah, never yeah. mind, never mind. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that momentarily. Um, Okay. Okay, I have an idea. Okay. Okay. Yes, and I'm double checking to make sure. A valley. Depending on your version of the world. It's a and by your version. <laughs> obviously. Um, and of course, I mean, by your version, I mean, like the actual world since you created it. Yep. So it's not like anything oh. else. Oh, you entered it. Thank you. Sorry. All I right. Did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. What, what do you think about valley being derived from a phrase meaning to gather rain? Oh my. Because I know where I'm from and where I live currently being in a valley means you're likely to be flooded. Hmm. Dang. All right. When it rains a lot. I mean, not all the time, but yeah. we do have a word directly for flood as well. So if we wanted to do like flood place or something. That's actually not a bad idea either. Let's take a look. Is flood is Sheja. Oh, Sheja, that's really cool. By the way, I hate to just straight up ask this, but you're not like hearing the sounds that my stomach is making, are you? No, but now I'm going to be listening. Oh, brother. You <sighs> said it. I know. I know. I didn't, not like I, like, what would I have done if you had said yes? I don't know. I guess I just wanted to know how embarrassed to be. But, um, but I, I don't know. But what now is everyone is going to gonna turn mm -hmm. up the volume to listen. Yeah, crank it. But yeah, like I am, I am sleepy. I am tired. And I am looking at Sheja. <laughs> okay. It's a good day. Place of flood. We don't have just a generic place. That's too bad. Um, no, we, we, we do. do. Sorry. We do we, have we a do word for, for like there. Adjectives. For adjectives, we used time, field. Oh, oh, that's good. A flood field. Flood field. So it would be time, 
followed by our word for flood, Tanshaja. Oh. Um, and we need to figure out how those two things fit together. Um, and so if you've got the sound change applier, I mean, we got a protoform T A N. And then for Sheja. Um, I Schwa. S I Schwa T I A. S I Schwa T I A. I was getting there. There we go. All right. So it comes out as Tincheja. Wow. Really? It's kind of yes. cool. T E N and then the Ch Aja. Um, I'm going to ask you to repeat that in just a minute. So T I N or T E N? E N. Okay. And then next is a ch, right? Yes. And then cheja. Yeah. And then where were were we putting the stress on the second syllable there? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Because that's what I thought. But oh my god. Oh, you just showed up. I think. Are you in the V's? Uh, what? No, I'm in the T's. Never mind. Okay. Cool. Why? Why pages? Oh, pages is doing something to me again. Oh my goodness. Valley. Okay, and then. I'm trying to enter Valley, but pages is doing that thing to me again where it's not letting me actually highlight what I want. Oh. I'm gonna see if this worked. Oh, wow. No, no. What did you just do? Oh, God. I'm learning everything. No. Yeah, I can't. It's not even like letting me highlight to copy and paste. So I need you to enter Valley. Okay, I got it. Over there. I don't know why it hates me. Oh, our second V word, hooray. I know, it's so exciting. And so I was very excited to add it. And Done. and then Pages did its thing. OK, so now we have Valley. We have Sunrise. We only need two more words, Storm and Introduction. Introduction. Do you want to save Introduction for last to be sort of like you know, ironic about it. Yeah, when we just create a root that means introduction. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. okay. So storm, storm, storm. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Um. I'm looking. I. Mm. Okay, we do have. Okay, so we have rain, but obviously this is a storm with lots of wind, thunder. Um, so it, it's much more than just rain. I want to. I want to. I want to look at something else. Mm -hmm. Um. Ooh, ours okay. comes from stir. Oh yeah. That's where the English comes from. Where's the M? Where's the M come from? It's a good question. Um, oh, you know what? The etymology does say it probably is from the verb to stir. I'm gonna pull up etym online because I always like checking them. If oh god, it would help if I actually spelled it right. Oh my goodness, my entire computer is against me today. Hmm. I think it's like overheating or something. Hmm. Um, look, it, oh, go on. I, I'm just looking up a couple of words in Arabic. I, so it comes from, ours comes from Sturmaz is the Proto-Germanic. And that is from a root meaning to turn or whirl from Proto-Indo-European, Sturmo. Mm -hmm. So the Arabic. <clears throat> uh, well, 
okay thanks for showing me the that i want to see the root that, thought that was the whole point that's the whole point of looking up stuff in arabic so that you can see the root lame all right forget it <clears throat> you're on your own yeah um so okay some things that to make to drive it from are things like rain and wind. Mm -hmm. um, turning does make sense. Hmm. Oh, just in just so like you know, if we do want to create a sort of rain wind compound, the word for rain is alu, and the word for for wind is yashu. So I think like that could be kind of fun to play with, um, if you just wanted to have like. Wind rain or something. Out of Yashu, it almost sounds like Inuyasha. <laughs> um, okay. So that is something. Um, I'm gonna look at our, um, I'm gonna look at our uh, augmented as real quick. Mm -hmm. Question. Yes. You have or have not seen flash tabs? I have. But now, if you okay. ask me anything specific plot point about it beyond the big ones, I won't remember because I'm fairly certain the last time I watched that movie, I was in college and the undergrad kind of college, not the grad kind. I've seen it many, many times and own it and have the movie memorized and did a personal tour of flash dance related things when I went to Pittsburgh. Um, See, also, I had even forgotten it was set in Pittsburgh. Uh, I also uh, recreated the beginning of the movie flash dance for the beginning of the talk I gave at Duquesne University. Interesting. Oh, yeah, no, I don't know it so that good. well. What a terrible movie. I love it. So we I'm going to watch so... a dancing movie. Footloose was, I, I watched that a lot more than Flashdance. And in fact, my college roommate and I, to relieve stress sometimes, would actually like crank up the song Footloose and go out in the hallway and dance. So that way all the, all the other people could enjoy and take a break too. Mm -hmm. Nice. I still haven't seen Footloose. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know, especially me. You'd think I would have seen it. I really um, do, yes. Yeah. So, so, hello. oh, so we have this as an example, just as a, like a, an example of how you put the, the forms together. We have so, oh. hello, a great rain. Yes, I like it. I kind of like it too. Like it sounds nice. Yeah. It's, Tyler's going to be getting all these U words. They're all used. Yeah. That's so cool because we didn't have as many. Now, now we're, we're, we're laying it in there. I like that. So, halu. Hmm. Ooh, yes. Okay. That's it. Perfect. I'm going to see if Pages is now cooperating. It is. It apparently only didn't like it when I was trying to copy when there was only one entry. I need to check spelling. How do you spell Sohalu? S-O-G-H-A-L-U, accent on the A. That's totally what I, what I had, and I second-guessed myself. I don't know why, because you spell it like it sounds. I do the same thing. I'm always like, Oh, you put it there already. Oh, wow. Okay. So I just put it down on the English side in the Ingala dictionary. Okay. Thank you. I'm adding it to the Ingala side. Okay. And then we get to start thinking about introduction. Yes. Oh, wait. Which Hold on. I got it. An intro you, you have an idea for it? Or are you entering? 
Um, sorry, I'm entering. Uh, okay, so and then do come on, come on, little friend. Push, little one, push. And then that just needs that. Because here's the thing, the introduction part of the composition literally introduces you to, you know, this rabbit and starting a journey. And so obviously like something like a, a form meaning to begin or a start yeah. of something could definitely be an option. Um, I'm fine with that. But also, do we have, what about, okay, so think this through. Because it's more than just starting the story, like you actually get introduced to the character. So thinking a little bit more literarily, um, okay. what about building something off the verb to know, meaning like you're getting to know these details or you're gathering information, you're something along those lines. Um, of course, to begin or start, we, which neither of which we have anyway, so we could definitely focus on those, but. Hmm. Yeah, because, uh, but I kind of like your idea of a gathering of knowledge which is literally, I think, how we did, oh, that's to assess or evaluate, um, was gathering of rain. That's right. Um, that's what that was in my head. Um, so we do have the verb to know. We don't have any sort of known form of knowledge. Kai inventative. That's what we're doing. What does um what does it begin with to know? To to know begins with a Y. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yemes. I miss. I I don't know how to express this, but it sounds perfect. I like it. Like it's just it doesn't hit right at the logical level. It it hits it hits in the feels. It hits in the the conlang heart area. Yeah. And you know. I do try to, I do try to destroy that aspect of myself, but it's still there. <laughs> and would this be introduction or to introduce? Um, it's going to be introduction um, or, or getting to know or like icebreaker, something like that. All of those things maybe. Like just a thing, you know, I miss. It's a it's the thing that happens it's, at the beginning for everybody to get to know one yes. another or to lay things out. I love it. Yeah, it's probably gonna take toe, but I'll and that we wouldn't need it to, to have um, an I in it, right? It would just be K A Y. E M That's right. E accent S. Okay. That is correct. Action. I'm literally putting icebreaker in the dictionary because. Ooh. Are you putting wouldn't... it in as as one word or two? I'm gonna see where the mood takes me when I start typing it. Oh, it. I automatically typed a hyphen in there. That just happened. Ooh. 
Well, I'm going to tell you this. If you remove that hyphen and leave what remains, it will count as not incorrectly spelled. Good. So do you want it as no hyphen? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, and I do, yeah, I, I do, oh, okay, I do owe you one, so I can remove my hyphen, so we're good now, cool. Okay, yes, we are now completely even, and nobody owes anybody anything, fantastic. All right, so introduction, introduction icebreaker. icebreaker, you said inception? Yeah, inception. Ooh, that's going into, okay. And my I feel like you're typing a lot more. Are you still working on the dictionary entry? I want to be sure that I remember exactly what I was thinking. Okay. And I'm very excited to see a footnote to say this just hit in the feels. <laughs> Got to mention how that came about. Okay, and then just let's put a car in front of it and we will call that a day. Uh, brother. Okay, I'm just gonna type the whole thing out. K A I A N M B Schwa E S. Oh, that's a good question. Whether he wants to try to replicate the Angala writing, any annotations? Nah, surely he wants Romanized forms, but something I can ask. Otherwise, they'd have to be images, really, without having the font package. Yeah. Um, cool. uh, okay, and now that this should be a Y, not an I. Yes, that's how that should be. Okay, and this, that's good. It's written there. It's one hell of a word. Yeah. I forgot yeah. how sometimes the, the writing system makes things. Yeah, and now I just need to, okay, it does change to a G. That's what I needed to so, see. Yeah, ooh, to get you nice. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that is kind of cool. I like that. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that ends the main words. Now, the question is, did you want to try to do more or just say, you know what, that's, that's probably a wrap on? That's, I mean, because anything That's, we do beyond this, like it wouldn't really fit as the big labels. And then I would feel like we would need to do one from each section. Yeah. And um, and this is this is about this is about hitting it for me. Evidently, I'm just super tired and exhausted from my day of doing nothing. That happens. That happens. So okay. in that case, cool. to just run through everything that we have. We have introduction is Cayenes. Fox Chase is Chas Favalumi. The river is Zeus. Lost is Obu. Storm is Sohalu. Sohalu, forgot to voice. Sunrise is Hegezi. And valley is Tincheja. Oh, that's nice. That was so good. That was so good. I so love it. That, that is exciting. And I am looking forward to sending that information to Tyler and for all of you to see this on Thanksgiving Day for our surprise episode. Oh, yeah. Do you want to like share your screen real quick so people can just look at it? Should I take out all the bullet points first? So that way it's just 
Eh, it seems but like it's we, a lot of effort. Is it though? Yeah, it's fine. Is it? They want to see you. You're gonna do it anyway, aren't you? I am because <laughs> I want it to look pretty when <laughs> they see it, and I don't. I don't want all the extra things that. She, she's copied everything over. She's inserted so, a page break. I have. Okay, she's cool. Pasting now, and deleting. Now I'm ready. Are you gonna do? Are you gonna do another return carriage in between Sunrise and the Valley? I just have no, to know. No, because those two are actually together. Okay. Because they're meant to be Sunrise slash Valley, and so mm -hmm. they're they're one movement, and so the the return carriages represent movements in the score. And so this is what we have accomplished today. Excellent. All right. And aren't aren't you glad those bullet points are, are gone so you can just see and really appreciate? Yes, I can see it I all over it. your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. It is appreciated. Okay, okay, so that is what we have accomplished today. Very exciting. Um, and yeah, do you want to take us out since you were supposed to be the one to bring us in? I don't, but I'll tell you who does. There's Slowly my little surely. boy. Can you see him? The, yes, but the look he's giving is kind of classic. Like half asleep, <laughs> half are you talking to me? That is kind of, I think, how you're feeling on the inside right now. <laughs> He's my little champion. <laughs> okay, so right. I'm, I'm gonna just, just go ahead and say, we miss you. Can't wait to see you next week's live stream and yep. stay grammar. Stay grammar.